this is August 1st. It is hot here in Nevada. I mean, we the nights cool off. We need a jacket sometimes in the morning. We're not wearing these to keep warm. These no, no. are our masks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, got, we got new masks to use, so they're easier to use. Um, it's hot. We haven't been able to run our AC because we don't have enough power to the trailer to run our AC. So we have had two extremely hot ones. Yeah, we, we bought a unit that we thought would do it, but the current that it needs is so high that it's on a shared circuit so that it, it hasn't been able to operate. Uh, the fan will run, but the compressor doesn't. No, Big problem. You have to have compressors for AC to do you any good. Now, just in case you think that we've been dying in 100 degree weather, we haven't. Um, I We're spent, still alive. <laughs> it's obvious, right? I spend half. I spend my day at work. He spends half his day in our daughter's home, working in a back bedroom or being helping with the babies. So yes. we are not staying. When I got home from work two nights ago, it was 102 in the RV and we're like, oh, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, we are on our way to the store. We just had a, a, we've been waiting for an electrician who would come and add an outlet. I, I would have done it. It's not my home. I'm not comfortable doing electric work like that for somebody else. But he added an outside outlet. Uh, it's a dedicated 20 amp circuit. So we need an extension cord that can go from our RV to that, to that outlet so that we can have the 20 amps. This thing needs 15, but uh, so we can have a full amount of current that it needs so we can have AC running, which uh, we need it desperately. So, so a couple of the decisions that we've had to make, they're like, well, we can trench and take it back and put it RV outlet so that it's there if anybody else wants to come after we leave. And that's what we were going to do. And we're like, we were going to split the cost. We're like, wait a minute. We're trying to get to Missouri, but well, plus we, the, we, have, we have to wait a while till that happens. Yes, 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 yes. So in the meantime, and one of our viewers told us about this wonderful statement while they're waiting for their homestead, so we're going to use it. In, in the, the meantime, meantime, we are going to go down and buy a very nice extension cord that's expensive, heavy, heavy duty, that we will be able to use in Missouri. We so always are needing them and we're always questioning if we have enough that the cords get hot sometimes right when you're running high powered things and so we do need a heavier duty cord. We're doing that and he is also putting an ethernet into our RV to be able to get better internet so we are doing that and not burying it so that we can take that with us yeah, our internet, and use it in the meantime, our, yeah, our internet has been Wi-Fi, and those of you who know very much about Wi-Fi, in yes, the country, it, it's very convenient, <laughs> yes, but it's not very resilient. It has a lot of problems, so we want to connect Ethernet-wise into their uh, into their network in the house. And really, our daughter wants to extend an Ethernet outlet to their bedroom so that their TV can do something other than Wi-Fi, which will make it better. So, so she, she and her husband used to do wiring when they were in college. That's what they had as a job. So she and I are going to do some wiring this week. <laughs> Follow us to the store. We're completing the project. We got what we needed to, to get things done. We've got the heavy duty the 10 gauge expensive. extension cord so that we can get our air conditioner up and going. That's pretty important. We need to get our internet to where it's wired up. So we've got some cable to run and a way to crimp the ends on and so on and so forth. So And a snake to pull the wire through. The through through conduit, yep. And then this board is going to be what's in the window. Uh, we got to shape it to where it fits in the window so the exhaust has a place to hook up. To. There's actually cold air coming out of there. <laughs> so we bought this knowing that we need another air conditioning part in our home in um, Missouri. But in the meantime, we are using it here. Now, we have an air conditioner right up here. But their home does not have the correct outlets for that in order not to blow things. So this is going to allow us to do it better. So let me tell you a couple of the things we ran into. He plugged in the cord into the new outlet that was installed this morning by the electrician 
and it did not reach to the window that we needed it to reach at the trailer. I said, no big deal, there's another window there. And that worked. So now he is going to be cutting a board that goes on that window and cutting a little piece that the vent fits into and then this will just it will it will do what it's supposed to do it will just sit there and make us all cool and come down the hallway and be amazing so you know i don't know where you are right now but it's been in the hundreds here for a week and now those of you who are saying why don't you just run your ac that's in your I already rv told them that. oh you already talked about I that i did okay <laughs> because they were going to say that. <laughs> anyway, one project down, almost. If you do a close-up, you can see we have this piece of wood right here. It's just a thin underlayment board, so it's, it's not heavy duty, but it doesn't need to be for this. And cut it to shape the window. I had that round off the corners, put it in there, I've taped it down so that it's held and it's not going to fall out. There's no air gaps. And then I had to cut a hole for this exhaust to go out of. And it's pushing the exhaust out the window right now. Let me put this down to help hold the heat out. So it's running. What's our temperature outside right now? As you know, it's tough to start an air conditioner in the middle of the day and have it be effective. It's going to take it a while to cool down in here. There's still a lot of hot air in here that's got to exhaust out so the tube is like really really hot so um, we're gonna watch and see how it does we've got high hopes and he's got high hopes now I've got to clean up my mess he's got high hopes he's got high apple pie in the sky hopes do, 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 Anyway, it's going to be cool in here, and Whoa. we're looking forward to that. One project, I, cleanup is all that's left. Yay.